Shalom everyone. Welcome back to another predestined predestined kingdom ministry or ministries international videos. I'm Kenithia J or Kenithia Johnson. Welcome back. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for your time, for your presence. We thank you for your glory. I pray your Holy Spirit speaks through me, upon me, and around me for your people to receive. May they believe that you're speaking, and if not, leave this ministry channel. I thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your grace and mercies. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. And I believe in the Lord God Almighty, Jesus Christ, his only son, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate. <laughs> was crushed, the Lord is just speaking, that's all. Uh, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is now seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. And from there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the Christianity Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. In the almighty name of the Lord God, Jesus Christ. Amen. In this video, the Lord is speaking on judgment coming to, to his nations, to his righteous people. Judgment on the nations. For the indignation of the Lord is against all nations, and his fury against all their armies. He has utterly destroyed them. Oh, wait, is that the right one? Sorry. Judgment is coming because you were taking someone's peace away and so god is coming to stick up for that child for that girl for that son for that daughter whether you are over them or not you have been attacking this woman this young lady says the lord you have been just causing what they call it holy spirit Not really chaos or mayhem, but you're just being disruptive because you're mad that this person don't want to marry who you prophesied years ago that never manifested due to God divinely stopping it. And so you're punishing this person because God is sending them or allowing them to go another way. Your judgment is coming for taking away someone's peace. Peace. Then justice will dwell in the wilderness and righteousness remain in the fruitful field. The work of righteousness will be peace and the effect of righteousness, quietness and assurance forever. My people, says God, my people will dwell in a peaceful habitation. So when you get upset as a spiritual leader or a parent and you take it away, you get judgment too. You are not a kotoba. God say everybody has the same rules. Everybody has to abide by the same holy Bible. The Lord say your judgment, he is judging you. He is the God who judges. He said, I am bringing judgment to everybody who took away my people's peace. For the foolish person, for the foolish person this is it isaiah 32 for the foolish person will speak foolishness and his heart will work inequity to practice ungodliness to utter error against the lord to keep the hungry unsatisfied and he will cause the drink of the thirsty to fall also the schemes of the schemer are evil he devises wicked plans to destroy the poor with lying words even when the needy speaks justice but a generous man devises generous things. 
and by generosity he shall stand. God says you are being judged. When you see somebody get about to get married or in a relationship and you using your gifts for evil, bringing up exes names in their atmosphere, man or woman to try to destroy this relationship, your judgment is here, says God. You've been doing it for over a year now. You've just been, especially for me. And then God says only so many other people he's going to allow you to keep doing this to. Your judgment is here. The peace of God shall reign in Kenithia's life. The peace of God. The Lord says, I will deal treacherously with you. And you know what? God explained to me through the Holy Spirit. It ain't no grace and mercies. Where was your grace and mercies when he kept telling you to stop attacking me? To bring me, to give me back my peace. To stop disrupting my dreams. There's no There's no grace and mercy and judgment after you become an evildoer like that. That's abusing God's grace and mercy. And then you looking at the person taking a smoke or a drink. And you say that they're doing it. That's why God say, let he who has not sinned cast the first stone. Every day we are to live right for the Lord. And that mean in that way too. Just because you're not doing that specific sin does not mean you're not doing another sin. He's the only one that became sinless so that we could become sinful. What is it, sinful? He's the only, Jesus Christ was the only one who did not sin while he was on earth. All of us sin. And so for you to try to take someone peace away because you're not getting your way, that's judgment, says God. And he's been having grace and mercy, but you just never stopped. And in fact, you became a big influencer for other people to follow behind you. Judgment for taking away the peace and assurance of God's, the, the quietness that comes from peace and the assurance of God. The Lord says, I am the God who judges. You can't just do something and think you could just get away with it. Get away with it. No. And woe to the rebellious people. This is for two people. That it may be for time to come forever and ever that this is a rebellious people. A lying children. Children who will not hear the law of the Lord. Who say to the seers they do not see. And who say to the to the and to the prophets do that they do not prophesy to us the right things a rebellious people not receiving who god has for you therefore thus says the holy one of israel because you despise this word and trust in oppression and perversity and rely on them therefore this inequity shall be to you like a breach ready to fall a bludge in a high wall whose breaking comes suddenly and instantly and he shall break it like the breaking of the potter's vessel which is broken in pieces he shall not spare so there shall not be found among its fragments a share to take fire from the hearth or to take water from the cistern He had God already had grace and mercy on you when he was telling you to stop and you was telling God no you were telling him that's not what he was supposed to be saying to, to people and so now judgment has come just this morning I saw somebody name I know somebody was messing with me look at this crow judgment is coming judgment is here judgment on the nations Judgment on people for being evil.